Students at the University of Papua New Guinea have refused to return to classes and are strategizing to conduct an awareness throughout Port Moresby this week. They have instead opted to carry out an awareness after their request for a referendum was not granted by the PNG Electoral Commission. Student leaders travelled out over the weekend to update their sister universities, make awarenesses and garner support from them on the happenings at the Waigani campus, as well as the national issues affecting the country. Rose Amos reports. The students are now interning to carry out awareness among ordinary citizens in public areas such as Gereu, Boroko, Ola and other major locations within the city. A student leader told NBC National News, students will not give up their fights and will continue exercising their rights to freedom of speech and expression as citizens of this country. Meantime, the highest authorities of the University of Papua New Guinea are appealing to the boycotting students to return to classes today and allow normalcy among students who wish to return to class. The UPNG Council and the Senate are both making this call after students boycotted classes for two weeks going towards a third this week. Registrar of UPNG Jennifer Poppert in a secular over the weekend highlighted the two weeks of disruption to the academic activities of the university has affected its life in relation to the delivery of its academic programs. The registrar says the disruption have resulted in millions of kina losses to the university and its stakeholders, including loss of learning time to students. The UPNG Council says the university has no control over the issues raised by the students, nor can it participate in such issues because they are before the courts. After two weeks of no classes, there appears to be no solution in sight. Meantime, the students have maintained their stand not to attend classes. The students say they will continue their fight unless they present their petition in person to the Prime Minister Peter O'Neill, either at the Wagani campus or at Parliament House. Rose Amos, NBC National News, Port Mosby.